Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, this is Conquer 001. Thanks for coming back to this uh, YouTube channel again. As promised today, or rather, as promised from yesterday, I will share with you on how to set up your own Beyond server for your Cardfight Vanguard experience. So, you know, uh, as, as some of you have, might have already experienced, you know, some of you have actually entered some rooms on uh, uh, someone's uh, own uh, server, and because there were so many people in there, it, it became quite laggy. The experience wasn't that fun. Everything was slow and sluggish and almost non-responsive, and even to the point where you, uh, you, uh, you yourself or your opponent actually breaks connection. So today, uh, I, I can teach you, uh, or rather I can share with you on how to actually set up your own server, and then you can actually invite your friends in, and you can even like uh, you know show appreciation to the community by offering your server for everyone else to play. So without further ado, let's get things started. Now these are some of the requirements that you will need. First up, you will need the Beyond program. Now if you have already watched my previous video on how to play Cardfight Vanguard in Beyond uh, within Cardfight Capital, then you would have already installed the software and already learn how to uh, enter a, uh, a server so you can uh, start playing. Pretty much everything that you need is already in this program except for one thing, and that is the server's data. Now, fortunately, the creators of Cardfight Vanguard were very kind to provide the server data uh, for the community so that they can host um, the, the, their own servers. So pretty much it's a very public thing. So where should we get the data? Very simple. Now let's uh, go and uh, go to the Cardfight Capitals uh, page. Click here, and you will see the a very familiar site, which is Cardfight, uh, a Cardfight Capital within Beyond. Now, if you actually scroll downwards, you will see this portion currently in public testing. They are now letting players to host their own servers, and you can actually find the host files, the the, uh, the server data, as I mentioned, from this link. So let's click on that. And we find ourselves in this particular page. Now, what you would want to get is the latest version, and it's most of the time at, uh, mostly at the base, uh, the last link that you find at the bottom of the page itself. So this corresponds to the month, the date, uh, the day, and the year. So naturally, this is the latest version. All you need to do is just download this program, or rather download this file onto any uh, directory within your computer and then uncompress it, unzip it or whatever. This is a zip file, so you can just simply uh, take, the, uh, uh, take the information out and then uh, extract the, uh, the data into any directory that you wish. Once you've done so, we, uh, you will need to actually get beyond started, up and running, and then go to File. Click on File and then select Start Dream Daemon or daemon. I believe that's the correct articulation. Once you click on it, this little window appears. Now, you will need to look for the file, in which case is the uh, server data file that you have just recently downloaded. Once you, uh, so just click on this guy, and then you look for the directory that you actually stored uh, the, the files from the zip file from. And once you actually access that particular folder, it will only show this particular file. There, there are many other files in, uh, in the folder, of course, but it will only reveal this particular file. And this is what you wanted to get. So once you, uh, or once you selected this file, click on Open, and then you can actually choose to start hosting. Now, most of the time, these options are pretty much... Uh, left alone by default, except unless, of course, you want to start uh, setting up visibility, public, private, and, and visible. Uh, I will share with you with those in a little while later. Actually, I might as well share, <laughs> share, uh, share with you right now. So as you can tell, public means that you're actually setting your server to be public. Everyone will be able to see it. Everyone will be able to access it. Next, followed by private, 
is that everyone will be able to see your server. However, they can only access it if they are in your friend your your friends list. Now, if you recall, the Beyond software allows a friends list itself. So these are the lists of some of the friends I've met. So if you actually set it to private, that means only any uh, the people within your friends list will only be allowed to access your server. And finally, invisible, which means that no one can see it, but you can still invite people to your server itself. But you know what? Share the love. I would highly recommend that you select public and let it be public. And uh, unless for some other particular reasons that might force you not to, uh, just, stick, uh, just stick with the default settings. Port zero, the port uh, number itself would, uh, would uh, automatically adjust itself to an available port, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, security, you can just leave it to safe, and then visibility public. All right, so without further ado, let's uh, click on go. And as you can tell, the, the server is now up and running, beyond hub reports that it can now be reached by players. This is what that you want to be to, to able to see, this green text here. So technical, as, so as I mentioned, now that the server is now up and running, uh, anyone else will be able to edu um, actually go inside and join in. Now, but of course, you want to take advantage of that. You want to access it. So uh, there are two ways that you can actually do so. Uh, this might sound rather redundant, but Bear with me. One is that you can actually go to the favorites and then try to look for a server. But here's the problem. In this particular list, it, it's not exactly updated. There really isn't any button that allows you to refresh the list or whatsoever. So it can be rather tedious. You know, hubs and whatsoever doesn't seem to help much. So it can be a bit of a problem. So therefore, what I would recommend is that you can actually go back to the Cartwright Vanguard page. Right here, oh, sorry do nothing right here and then simply look for the server that is being hosted by you in in my case hosted by conquer double one as you can see no players so you just click on play now and then your browser whichever browser that you're using would then prompt you telling you that it, uh, it, it wishes to open the server so in which case you just click on launch application you would automatically link with beyond and then connect you to the server itself. There you go. So there you go. I'm now inside my server, and as you can see, the performance is extremely smooth. At the same time, if you actually go back to your World Demon uh, window, you notice that this section here says one player logged in. And that would be me. And you can also check out which particular player or players is currently within your server as well as who has been in your server. So to demonstrate, I'm going to leave my server. I'll just quit. And as you can tell, my nickname has grayed out. This is to show that I actually stayed for 47 minutes and I came in around this time at this date and I'm gone. So now let's go back in. There we go. So there are additional stuff that, that you can do with uh, the World Demon, like banning players, uh, sending out an, an announcement, let's say, hi everyone. This is Conquer Double One, your server host. There we go, and then OK. And then it will actually show up here. Everyone will be able to see it. Likewise, you can also send individual messages to the players. So, hi, this is you. There you go. You can also ban. Uh, players, uh, depending on whatever reason that uh, is based on. Uh, but however, I didn't really uh, bother to 
uh, use this particular feature uh, unless, of course, I believe I absolutely have to. And I really hope that day does not come. So there you have it. Uh, this is my walkthrough on how to actually host your Beyond uh, your Beyond server for Carpa Vanguard, or to be more precise, uh, Carpa Fight Capital. So if you have any questions, uh, you know, please don't hesitate to actually leave a, a, a comment uh, in this um, under this uh, YouTube video in the comment line, and I will try to get back to you. So. Uh, do share with your friends uh, who might be wanting to uh, learn how to play Vanguard and beyond. And uh, last but not least, I really hope that, this, uh, that my videos have proved very useful and uh, instructional um, and uh, informational uh, for you all. So uh, this is Conquer the signing off.